once again confirmation of the score. Govi Shem and Tan Wei Kiong coming through 21-12 in the deciding game. We could not have scripted this any better. Two matches apiece. Fifth and deciding match to come. The third singles in the 28th Thomas Cup final. There it is, the magnificent trophy. The first contest in 1949. And their confirmation that it is two and a piece. One singles each, one to Malaysia, one to Japan, one doubles each. And it's all coming down to the third singles. Takuma Ueda against Liu Darren. Well, the first three names on that trophy were indeed Malaya. 22 years since they last won the Thomas Cup. For Japan, this their first ever Thomas Cup final. Look at the expression on Liu Darren tension or what perfectly perfectly understandable Grace Chia of Singapore will be our umpire for this fifth and final match Ude Sane of India the service judge Well, Ueda. Takuma Ueda Darren, all the selected for three of the five matches. When he has been left. selected, he's won. Left. Liu Darren. Unbelievably, he's only the sixth ranked Malaysian on the world ranking at the moment. He's down at 66, but he has been as high as 10. And the reason his ranking has dropped is because of injury woes. Well, Takuma Ueda, 25 years of age, born in Tokyo. 25 on the world ranking at the moment. He has been as high as 12. His win-loss record for the year prior to this Thomas Cup campaign. One quarter-final here in India. Otherwise, he lost in first or second rounds. As I say, he has been selected for three of the five matches. He didn't play against Hong Kong. He wasn't selected for the semi-final against China. But here in the final, faith has been shown 
in Ueda because he has won all of his matches so far that he has played. Two group matches and the quarter-final against France. His opponent, 26-year-old Liu Daren from Kuala Lumpur. As I say, he's currently the sixth-ranked Malaysian player, but don't pay any attention to that. It's because of injury problems. He's only got eight tournaments towards his world ranking. He has been as high as 10 in the world ranking. His win-loss record for the year, as you can see, not good at all. Selected for four of the five matches here in Delhi for the Thomas Cup finals. He's actually only played in two of them. He wasn't needed for either the quarter-final or semi-final because Malaysia had already won those contests before they got to the fifth match. The two matches he has played, as you can see, he's lost against Guru Saidat from India and Schmidt from Germany. His form has been questionable. Well, the other singles player in the squad, Gosun Kratz. But perhaps this is why the selection of Liu Daren, because he has played against Ueda once and he won on that occasion. But I can tell you, he had to save three match points in that deciding game. Liu Daren before eventually winning 24-22 in a match that lasted an hour and 21 minutes. My goodness, wouldn't we love that again? <laughs> We're going to have some fun here. <laughs> Morton, can your nerves take it? Yes, they can. <laughs> well, Sorry might, to say. <laughs> you might have to calm me down because it's all getting too exciting for me. This yeah. is just tremendous. Thank you. But Well, the umpire calls for the players to get ready. My goodness me. If ever there was butterflies in the tummy. It would be now. It will be now. Quickly, before it gets underway, have you been in this position before? I suppose you always number one men's I've singles. I always played the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're no help to us then, Morton, are you? <laughs> No, but uh, I understand. It's, it's yeah. totally different to play for a team than it is to play for yourself. So obviously we are all much more nervous when we play these team matches. Yeah. Hello, Yuki Endo. Now with the face paint, ready to cheer on his teammate, Takuma, Takuma Ueda. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Malaysia, represented by Darren Liu. And on my left, Japan, represented by Takuma Ueda. Malaysia to serve, the ball. Play. The 28th competition for the Thomas Cup comes down to this. Third singles, Liu Darren. Takuma Ueda. Goodness, <laughs> quick was that. One, go. Well, he's only ever won one title, Liu Darren. And it was a big one. It was one of the Super Series 2012. French Super Series. His opponent has only ever won one title. Which the Russian, was the, the Russian, Russian Grand Prix in 2010. Yeah.
can't help but think back, I'm sure it was two years ago in the Thomas Cup when Lee Chong Wei injured his ankle playing against Peter Gea. And this man, Liu Darren, had to step up to the plate and play first singles. Without the pressure, he was playing quite brilliantly. Yes. It's a different scenario now. Without the pressure. Yeah, it's totally different. Just long. I, I must admit, I've only seen the way they play once. Uh, I've seen him obviously play in this tournament, but yeah. only really once. And that was in this tournament against Denmark when he played against Emil Holst. And it was a good match. But he striked me as a very cool player. And I think that's perhaps one of the reasons why he's been selected for this match is the fact that he's probably very good under pressure. So let's see if that's a, a right summary of that. Well, that could be absolutely vital given what we know about Liu Darren's fears mm. prior to this yeah, Thomas Cup. He has been hammered in the press of Malaysia as well. Yeah. Not being able to step up and take the pressure and all that. And here he is having to play this extremely vital, important match for Malaysia. Five. That's where I think now, if I may say something. Yeah, go for it. I think the Malaysian camp really have to get behind Darren. Yeah. He's 6-2 down and they're already completely quiet. Yeah. It's like, oh, we know this is going to happen. And, you know, we don't have the confidence and faith in him. They have to be behind him whatever happens and yeah. shout and scream and help and it's complete quiet and he's only 7-2 down in the first game yeah very good point oh it's pretty wide i think i'd challenge that No, no challenge forthcoming. Mm. It's hard to see. Yeah, very difficult. Five straight points. Yeah, that's what we know he can do. He's really quick on his feet. And he's got a wonderful attack. He just has to try not to make it too difficult for himself. Really trying to play a very simple game. Something he can control, something he, that can keep him in this match as long as it takes. Indonesia, former world champion, yes. 2001 Seville. Yes, Spain. Yes. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah.
Don't you believe it? Yeah. But, you know, if you don't hit it harder than that, or sharper than that, you put yourself in trouble. Even if it's not hitting the tape and all that, he will have to run big time for that one. So, you know, keep it straight, or at least possibly slice it, put some angle to it, take the pace out of it, play it sharp. Well, six point advantage at the mid-game interval and Japan at the moment looking very, very good indeed. Just seven minutes to the mid-game interval. Well, not over exaggerating his celebrations there keeping his emotions in check and a six point advantage 11-5 Out the Japanese team in fine voice at the moment. 11 5 the advantage. Yeah. And Liu Darren is in all sorts of trouble. He can't move, perhaps crippled by nerves. But Morton, I want to come back to a point you made. You said that Hendro one was on the coach's bench along with Rashid Sadek. That's an interesting point in itself because Taysu Bok we normally see yeah. on the singles court is there something that Hendro one particularly works with yes, you, Darren? Yes, yes he yeah. does. Okay. Uh, Bok is uh, only, inverted commas again, uh, connected to uh, Rashid. <laughs> to Li Chong Wei. Wei. Sorry, to Li Chong Wei. Yeah. And uh, Hendro one is in, in charge of the rest of the uh, singles players. Yeah. That's what I was to understand, but I didn't notice Taesu Bok was on the coach's bench for Chong Wei Feng. Yeah. Along with Rashid. Yes, That's true. Yeah. true. That's, That's better from the Malaysian. Seven, but they are divided into two groups, and where that division is, is I, I'm not entirely sure of, yeah. but they are divided into two. And Hendrowan is having that second group. The development squad, or the yeah. backup players, yeah. or whatever they want to call them. Yes. Yeah, the hesitation there from Liu Darren. to support trying to support his teammate yes that's Stand good to see standing front row as cool as a cucumber at the moment. Uida.
nicely done. He needs to get himself into the match more before the start of the second game, does Liu Darren, doesn't he? Yes. Hendra one wants him to play more attacking lifts towards the baseline, really move his opponent. But to do that, you have to have a solid defence. So it worked here, but will it work the next two or three ones as well? Well, that's a missed opportunity. watching Ueda play against Holst against Denmark in, the, in their match in the group. I like watching him now. The way he is composed, how he's handling himself, how he's conserving his energy, how he's so focused on what, he, what the job at hand. He's doing so well. He is doing really well. power than the other one we saw in the beginning. It's a Li Chong Wei shot. movement back in court <laughs> <laughs> always an expressive person Keda Masuda <laughs> very good men's singles player at the time yeah and then became a very good men's doubles player as well yes he did game point Seven. opportunities But he will be absolutely <laughs> delighted because Takuma Ueda has just taken the opening game in the deciding match in the Thomas Cup final. And he's taken it very convincingly indeed. 21-12. Just 16 minutes needed.
21-12, just one game away from taking the Thomas Cup. Closeness. Lloyd has to put out of his mind. There's only ever been three countries' names engraved on the Thomas Cup. We're going to have a challenge. And those three countries' names were Malaysia, Indonesia, and China. Is there about to be a new name added to the list of winners of the Thomas Cup? Well, we're waiting for Hawkeye. Yeah, it was in. Challenge successful. Two challenges remaining. As you know, I've been uh, One, no. director of performance in Malaysia. I have a very soft spot for the country. Lots and lots of the people in the contingent I know. And lots of the players I know. But somehow, I also think that Japan has really, really deserved this. Beating China on Friday was fantastic. Probably one of the biggest upsets in Thomas Cup history. Well played. So it's over. Two, one. Well, we, when you think that the best Japan had done in the Thomas Cup prior to 2014, the last two editions, they reached the semi-final. That's their best performance up until now. This is their first final. Oh, my goodness. Well, we don't want to make... I certainly don't want to make any predictions. <laughs> There's still a long way to go. No, no, me being the so-called expert, I can do it. I can, you know, <laughs> jump straight in, two feet, no problem. So it's over. Two, three. But you have to stay composed and calm. Yeah, well, I'm struggling, I have to say. <laughs> it's all so exciting. Yeah, not really close. Good judgment, he could have played that. Three, all. Anxious look back towards the giant screen. Uh, even from up here, he looks out. Yeah. Darren's reaction after making that error, tapping his head yeah. or with his hand as if to say, think, 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 think. think. Yeah. Taking a bit of pace off. Four, 
Just going for placement. the tension in the forearm when you're having yeah. to play lifts like that the tension just forces you into error doesn't it it does and the whole camp have to shout tahan which means you know you can do it change a rally like that. Gosh, that was important, wasn't it? It was. Faulted, the service faulted. The service faulted. Well, I'm partial to allow this discussion. What, what was the hand signal, Morton, from uh, the service judge? Racket not pointing in a downward direction. Yes. be backing off the net as he was trying to play the net shot he's away from the net even before he plays it yeah gotta stay with the shot and he was just about calling it out yeah, anxious look from yeah. Lee Darren towards the line yeah. judge he was kind of indicating it was going out first before he called it in Sort of shots 
that took him to the title, the French Open in Paris. And I remember watching that final and thinking, you know, why on earth when it's all working? He should be a top five player in some of these weapons, but it just doesn't seem to happen at consistently enough. No, you can't put all the good things together. level Body language there. Yeah. Oh, what a good return of serve. Tight spinning net shot forced the short lift. Yeah. I think Darren was covering it well, but he had the chance of going cross court, really driving it cross on the first one. And he had read it, so, you know, that's where I think you've got to find the points. That's the one I meant. Yeah. Mm. And that going just long of the back line, right idea. So a two-point advantage to Japan in the form of Takuda Ueda. And look at the reaction of Liu Darren. Look at the disappointment, look at the anguish. He has to somehow lift his spirits. He's got to stay in there fighting. Just 30 minutes. And we're halfway through the second game. Big deep breath. Morton, you were noticing during that mid game interval, the Malaysian team far more positive towards their man. Absolutely. They were really rooting for him. Well, nine. Well, this is a run of four straight points for Uida. Oh, that's well taken, isn't it? Oh, that was going wide. That 
it certainly is. Oh, he's taken it. Uh, he's also in doubt now when he's hitting it. Yeah, and also stretching his back after that rally. Yeah, points towards the line, asks his coaches, was it going wide? Well, it's not going to help his state of mind have it confirmed that he should have left it. points from 8-9 down Ueda piling on the pressure point advantage coming from behind Eliu Darren has to react and has to react now ever closer to rewriting the history of the Thomas Cup. tactical move and considering that he's been so nervous he's been missing some of the lines as well probably a very wise decision I think so I think that was cleverly played and that's I know it's desperate 11 16 down but again he, he's got to try to find the answers and I think this is one of them still believe the Malaysian fans <laughs> and why not there's just three points in it yes it's still possible So, 
One more. Yeah, and then, then who becomes nervous? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Four straight points from Liu Darren. Covered cross court, then down on all fours. What defence, what scrambling by Lida. Look at that. So the way he scrambled it back, yeah. that could break the spirit of this man. Amazing. Maybe beginning to think, what do I have to do to win a rally? Everything coming back and coming back with interest. He should have played a drop shot. It was so easy to say afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Monday coach. Here, having the benefit of being able to watch it. A little bit from above, so easy to see. Good shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Good shot. turn and play the high backhand. But really good stepping into it. It takes guts to do that in such a close match and so much at stake. Good, good, there's a challenge. There'll be a challenge here from Uida. He's, he's going to lose the, the, uh, the challenge, I think. I think he's in. Well, it was worth the challenge. It was indeed in. Malaysian bench celebrate that challenge gone challenge as far as Uida is concerned. He's still got one to go, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Sixteen, eighteen. Anything is possible. I'm telling you, anything is possible. to play a, a shot like that no. I, I wouldn't have done it but no. uh, it worked wonders oh my 
my goodness. Uh, some concerns in the Japanese camp. Yeah. Former world champion there, Laura Perry, watching with interest. Did you notice the Japanese players, Momota, punching his it's chest it's as yes. if to say, play with heart, <laughs> yeah. keep fighting? It's national pride. Yeah. Point for Darren here. Can he square it? No. Nope. Yes, landed in. It's kept in, kept in by the drift. He is back to level. Eight of the last ten points going to the Malaysian. second game it looked all but over by the celebrations what great great fighting spirit from the Malaysian Liu Darren he is two points away from taking the second game and leveling this at one game all First time, Ueda looks a little bit fidgety and a little bit nervous. <laughs> this is remarkable. Ten of twelve points to earn himself two game point opportunities. And look at the difference in the body language right now of the Malaysian. He's missed it. It is indeed one game all. All the doubters of Liu Darren. Eat your words. He has fought back and he's extended this to a decider. Well, 45 minutes. The Thomas Cup absolutely in the balance. Two matches apiece and in the fifth and deciding match, it is now one game all. We couldn't have wished for any more. This is brilliant.
Hollywood scriptwriters <laughs> could have made it as good as this. No. Could have imagined <laughs> such an encounter. Yeah, so often reality shines over fiction. Too right. And I suppose for Ui that he's got to put out of his mind that it was within his grasp because, you know, if you start playing on your mind that I should have won this in two, I had my opportunities, he's got to just blank that out. Uh, uh, totally, it's a uh, love all play. But he should just go a little bit back to basics, I think, you know, just go back to basics, play the game, keep it going, because for sure the mistakes are coming now and again from Darren. Oh, that's it. He has definitely grown in confidence. And this one, why doesn't he play cross? You know, so many times we see the opponent stepping up on that forehand and you just play softly cross and there's plenty of space. indicates he's got the new racket wants to test it out first see it observed by all the players delicate touch shots that are so difficult when you're nervous. It goes two ways. Yeah, they're both nervous. Yes, That's it understandable. It goes two ways now. some more time as much as anything yep. but defensively he's not reading which way the shots have come out oh, he's totally caught yeah and he's standing too upright as well he's got to crouch a lot more to get to be able to move from side to side so bend those knees Ben no you heard that one before <laughs> <laughs>
he just seemed to give it a little more air there, mm. Liu Darren. He did. A little bit. Rather than trying to spin it ferociously, just gave the shuttle a little more air, making sure it got close to the net by going over. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's landed in. That's a good option, but he also had the option of going cross court. Again, we see that Darren is standing on the straight one. He managed to get it over him. Really good shot. But look at that space cross. Look at that space. Just a soft cross court shot. And it would have been a straight winner. Overcommitted again, coming forward. Yes, he did. He can't move that that fast and, and quickly up on such a loose shot. Yeah, watch him. Yeah, yeah he comes forward and has to go back. He's got the time. Even in his favourite position. That's very, positive. Seven, very well taken. No, no. aren't happy with the court attendants mopping and fall back on done all the hard work had laid it yeah that was a nervous shot again we just have to face it he was in total balance and it wasn't even close going over Definitely stepping up in pace here. Definitely stepping up in pace. taken that's the 
Thomas out. <laughs> <laughs> the two players, Seven. honestly speaking, they are so nervous now. Yeah. They, we, we have to bear with them. We simply just have to bear with them. Yeah. They are too nervous to play. Court shots. He knew the likely reply was straight and knew Darren was so fast forward. Yeah, but still, it's brave of Darren because just the previous uh, rally, he missed the same shot. Yeah. So. Malaysia's name has been on that trophy. Well played by Uida. Stepping into the net. Yeah, as soon as the player turns to play that backhand. You know they're in trouble. And that was far too loose. in it an hour and 12 minutes already well, the only previous time they played it was an hour and 21 minutes so I think they might beat that this time. I think so too three points in the lead but it was this near side of the court where Liu Darren is going to end where all the players play better and had a better score 11, yep. what did you say to me just a moment ago Eight. anything can happen <laughs> anything can happen so true we can we can talk <laughs> from now on forever and we will never get it <laughs> yeah Spreading it down the line. Not going for the big power, just making sure of the placement. the 
deficit, just one solitary point. Oh, that's nice. Once again, Liu Darren sprawled towards his forehand side, unable to retrieve. There. Do you think he hurt himself? No, it's just uh, a little knock. I'm sure the pain is gone by now. Played across. Go out of trouble. Good play. Cross. Yeah. Well, oh. He's back level. the tie one game all in the fifth and deciding match 12 points all who's got the nerve it goes all the way to 29 oh wouldn't that be fabulous <laughs> could you, I could see that <laughs> uh, Ida doesn't dare to push it really hard waiting for a better chance and that was well played waiting for a better chance the other two there were half chances well it's not only going to be the players who are exhausted after this <laughs> <laughs> that's Every for sure everybody's emotions my goodness Well, he went for the cross court as did. you suggested. He did, and it would have been okay. He just should have kept it in. Easy to say, but that's what he should have done. And then he would have been out of trouble. Yeah. Oh, that was going wide, definitely. But do you dare to leave it? No. <laughs> Well, Ueda has opened up a three-point cushion. But let's not forget he had a six-point advantage in the second game, having won the first. Long. 
considering he's playing against the drift, that's a remarkable shot he can make such a mistake. But again, must be down to nerves, can't control it. aggression channeled the attack so there was no angles for Uida to work with Sorry, I can't help smiling. This is just so too good. exciting. So this over 16, 14. Mm. The anguish once again for Liu Darren. to towel down but the umpire refused it but I still think that was possibly good for him don't think too much don't give yourself too much time to think this is not a physical battle anymore it's only a mental battle What a backhand kill. Boys landing in. It's called good. There's a challenge here from challenge. Liu Darren. Baseline call in. He's made one challenge. He was successful on his challenge before. Yeah. If you've got one, use it now. Yeah. Oh, oh, looking at that again. Oh, now I'm not so sure. Yeah. Thank goodness we've got Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, it's, it's in. It's caught the line. Oh, look it's at that. It's caught the line. Look at that. Unsuccessful. <laughs> One challenge remaining. Well done, linesman. <laughs> That's the difference between sometimes success and failure. Oh, these winning margins are absolutely tiny. Yeah. Three points away, Japan. Got to put that out of their minds. One point at a time.
the lift was woefully short. It was a golden opportunity for Liu Darren. Look, he's barely half caught. And his favourite shot. Had to do was get it over and in, playing, as you say, his favourite shot. And now Japan two points away from lifting the Thomas Cup. Oh, that's good lift. Well played by Darren. Oh, it's hit the top of the tape and fallen back the Japanese side. Joe, you and I, we will remember this. <laughs> we will. Darren, I will Darren. never forget this match. Darren, come here. What an encounter. Oh, a yellow card at this stage. Well, it's never time mind. wasting. Forget never mind. it. Never mind. Carry on. <laughs> never mind. Two points, the deficit. Oh, good for two. That's out. No, nope, that's kept in. in. That's kept in. It is now Thomas Cup points for Japan. Next point, 17. Three opportunities to create history. That's a brave clear. Championship points. Down the middle. Down the middle. Down the middle. Japan have rewritten the record books. A fourth country's name will be engraved on the Thomas Cup trophy. Immediately, the Malaysian coaches go to console Liu Darren while the Japanese team go wild in celebration what a Thomas Cup final 21-17 the deciding game and Takuma Ueda has secured the fourth the third point for Japan well Japan who defeated the five-time defending champions, China in the semi-final. They didn't just defense, beat them, well, they thrashed them three well, love. Have now, having competed in their first ever Thomas Cup final, have walked away with the trophy. Well, Morton, it's been the most extraordinary afternoon and evening here at the Surrey Fort Sports Complex. What a Thomas Cup final. What emotions, what drama, what excitement. The beauty of sports. The agony and the ecstasy. In the sport of there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. It's a double-edged sword, and for the Malaysian fans, the disappointment, the anguish, but for all Japanese fans, the delight. History has been created. Absolutely. Wonderful. They have really deserved it. What a tournament they have played. Japan really offsets 
everyone in this tournament. They have played so well. It's amazing. And obviously this last match was not a match that will be remembered for the beauty of the game, but how nervous the two players were. Yes, the excitement and the drama. That's what I will remember and remember forever. This has been one of the classic encounters. Malaysian team go and thank their supporter. An hour and 28 minutes to decide the Thomas Cup in the fifth and final match with Takuma Ueda beating Liu Darren. 21-12, 18-21, 21-17 in the deciding game. And it means Japan are champions. Well, the teams gather for the presentation of the Thomas Cup and all the medals. Well, it's taken just over six hours to decide who will lift the trophy. And for the first time, Japan will have their nation's name engraved on the Thomas Cup. It will be the fourth different nation to lift the magnificent trophy. This is how they did it. It was a magnificent tie, it really was. Lee Chong Wei got Malaysia off to the ideal start from 10-15 down in that second game. He won 10 straight points before securing it 21-16. Then it was the turn of the men's doubles and what a thriller that turned out to be. An hour and 15 minutes before Hawakawa and Endos 
finally secured it 21-19. Then it was Japan's former world junior champion, Kenta Momoto, in the battle of the left-handers, overcoming Chong Wei Feng in two straight games. Then the second doubles, and the Malaysians were superb. They had to come back from a game deficit before winning through 21-12 in an hour and six minutes, an hour and 28 minutes for the fifth and final match. And Ueda coming through against Liu Darren. As I say, we couldn't have scripted it any better. It was absolutely magnificent. What a match it was. Morton, I don't think we can fault it in any way, can we? No, it was perfect. Uh, I have so enjoyed it. It was wonderful to watch. And uh, as I've said earlier, my heart bleeds for Malaysia. They have played well. I have a soft spot for them. I've been there, worked there for years. But I still think Japan has played a wonderful tournament and really deserve to win. Yeah, and of course, the women in the final of the Uba Cup as well, Japan, we can't let this go without making huge mention mm. of the role that Park Jubong, the head coach, he has masterminded a revival of Japanese badminton, which has led to the pinnacle, this Thomas Cup. But it just shows how much it means to have the right people in top of these associations. Yes, absolutely. Well, of course, the Thomas Cup, not only a first win, for a new nation, Japan. We ought to make mention of two teams who played here for the first time. Chinese Taipei qualifying and also France. And France went all the way through to the quarter-final stage. What a wonderful debut for both of those new teams. But there is the trophy, the magnificent Thomas Cup, presented to the International Federation by Sir George hand. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, the first competition held in Preston in England in 1949. This the 28th time that it's been contested. And over the 27 previous contests, there were only three different nations that lifted the trophy. We have new champions a new era and what excitement for the sport of badminton that that has been achieved the two teams beaten in the semi-final the top two seeds for the tournament the five-time defending champions and nine-time winners in total china and also the most successful team in the history of the thomas cup indonesia who themselves have lifted the trophy an incredible and now, 13 and gentlemen, times a a one and two the seeds the beaten Japan at semi-final stage china and indonesia. so china and indonesia the BWF announced vice president for badminton mr paul kuzo to do the honors of presenting the bronze medal to indonesia and Mr. G. G. Thomas, Director General, Sports Authority of India, to present the stones to the medalists. Bronze medalists, Indonesia. Please give a big hand for Indonesia, ladies and gentlemen. So the bronze medalists step forward. Saputro gets his bronze medal. Simon Santozo. Well, what a third singles player he was throughout the tournament. Tommy Sugiato, the number one men's singles player. Mohamed Hassan, the world men's doubles champion, beaten in the Semi-final, Dionysius Hayum Rumbaka. And the youngster we didn't see in action, Mustafa. Mustafa.
well, I'm sure all the Indonesian team will have enjoyed the excitement of the final, obvious disappointment that they weren't part of finals day. That goes without saying, there's Hendra Setiawan. He's won virtually everything there is in the sport apart from this Thomas Cup. Joko Suprianto, the singles coach, and all the coaching staff. Well, Indonesian badminton went through a bit of a lull a couple of years ago as well. They've revamped their structure and their coaching staff. And that too has paid dividends. And last but not least, Christian Hadinata. Thank you, Mr. Paul Cuso. Thank you, Mr. Gigi Thomas. And now may I invite the BWF Vice President Panam, Mr. Vishu Tulan, to do the honors of presenting the medals to China. And Mr. Ajit Mohan Saran, Secretary of Sports, to present the stalls to the well, medalists. Who would have thought prior to the start of the Thomas Cup this year that China would not at least be contesting the final? The five time defending champions, Liu Xiaolong, doubles player, gets his medal Lindan two-time Olympic champion who was down to play third singles in the semi-final we never got that far Tian Wei, another left-handed singles player Du Peng Yu who fought so bravely in the semi-final Chu Sihan well, top ranked doubles player, but didn't get selected for the semi final. Fu Haifang, the Olympic men's doubles champion, along with Zhang Nan, the Olympic mixed doubles champion. Chai Biao, preferred as first doubles, along with Hong Wei. Fu Haifang. In all probability, this will be his last Thomas Cup campaign. Thank you, Mr. Vishnu Tolan. Thank you, Mr. Ajit Mohansaran. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the silver medalists, Malaysia. Malaysia May I are called the forward. Vice President Europe, Mr. Gregory Verputin, to do the honors of presenting the silver medals to Malaysia and Badminton Association of India President and BWF Council Member Dr. Akhilesh Das Gupta to present the stones to the medalists. Well, you can't have a great Thomas Cup final 
without two teams performing. And Malaysia gave their all today. Malaya as they were when they won the first three Thomas Cup competitions. 22 years ago, they were top of the podium on home soil. Obvious disappointment at the moment, but when they look back and reflect on their performance, their first final for 12 years for the Malaysians, well, Govi Shem receiving his medal. He's been superb all week. Swapping round the doubles players. Lim Kim Wa there only got one match. Chong Wei Feng, the left hander. And Lee Chong Wei remained undefeated throughout the campaign. Receives his medal. And so to the coaches. Jeremy Gang, Tay Subok, it was a team performance throughout the week of Malaysia and the entire team and all the backup staff should be congratulated for a wonderful performance. Gupta, President of Badminton Association of India, making these presentations. Yeah, individual applause for the world number one. Thank you, Mr. Gregory Wipperton. Thank you, Mr. Dr. Akhilesh Nasgupta. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us all roar out for the leading BWF Thomas Cup gold medalists, Japan. History has been made. May I invite Japan again the Badminton Association of India have won the Thomas Cup. Only the fourth nation ever to do so. They came here as the number four seeds and they leave as champions. Each and every player within the Japanese team have played their part in this superb victory. Kenichi Targo led from the front, the number one singles player. Noria So Hirata, the doubles player. And here the man that got the winning point for Japan. Takuma Ueda, the doubles players. Sonoda and Kimura Hashimoto there getting his medal and the former world junior champion into Momota well what a talent he is Endo well his doubles throughout the week has been vital to the team's success Kimura Shows Suzaki, the left-hander, selected for the semi-final. Kenichi Hawakawa. 
more than it really has been a full team performance. It has, uh, it has been fantastic. Uh, Japan has been the big surprise and if anyone has led the team and really set the stage on Friday, it was Targo. He really did well. Kenichi Targo. Outstanding uh, result he yeah. did on Chen Long. And about to receive his medal, the man who's masterminded Japan's resurgence to the top of world badminton, Park Jibong. So the BWF Deputy President, Mr. Gustavo Fernando Salazar, steps forward to present the actual trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, the leading BWF the Thomas, Thomas Cup. Cup Championship trophy goes to Japan. And it's rightly so to Park Jubal. the honor well it does come in three pieces <laughs> the Thomas Cup and the magnificent you, trophy that means so much <laughs> in men's team competition isn't it ironic isn't it ironic such a great player, Park Jubong. And he never won it as a player with the Korean team. And they had a wonderful team at the time when he played. Oh, he lifts the trophy aloft. What a proud, proud moment for Japan and all the Japanese players. To come forward for a photograph. Well, the players, the teams pose for the photographers with all of the presentation party. to a wonderful week here in Delhi. Well, the Thomas Cup won in 
absolutely thrilling circumstances. What a match it was. So it means that there we can see from the quarterfinals onwards, Japan coming through against the defending champions, China in the semi-final and then defeating the former champions in the final, beating Malaysia. Malaysia did their part to upset Indonesia in the semi-final stage and to create a wonderful final here this afternoon and this evening. So that concludes another Thomas and Yuba Cup competition. Just to remind you, China retained the Yuba Cup, beating Japan in the final 3-1. But for Japan in the Yuba Cup, their first final for 33 years. But today, Japan went one better. Japan have won the Thomas Cup. It has been a magnificent week of badminton. So from all of us here in Delhi, from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, and all of the team, until the next time, bye-bye.